The New York Historical Society was founded in 1804 to collect documents and artifacts related to the history of New York in particular and the United States in general. And we've assembled uh, collections for now over 200 years. Breakthrough ex Exhibition started uh, initially with discussions between us and Arthur Ainsberg, the author of the uh, Breakthrough book. Out of that, we decided to work on the people that were involved with the uh, discovery of, of insulin and its distribution. Many things came from the University of Toronto, many came from Lilly, many came from the Jocelyn Institute in Boston. Others came from the Academy of Medicine, the Rockefeller Archives, and a multitude of places. The exhibit is structured in a circle. You enter and leave from the same doorway, and we start really with what people thought of diabetes in the thousands of years before the discovery uh, in the 1920s. We have uh, 15th century and 16th century illustrated books uh, that talk about how doctors of that period identified diabetes, then the period exactly before where people went on what was called a starvation diet to survive diabetes, then the discovery itself then the first patients, then the initial sort of um, production and distribution at Lilly, then the sort of uh, period afterwards in which we call maintenance, the maintenance of the way to take insulin and to distribute and manufacture it. And we end with today, which deals with sort of where we are in dealing with the disease today. Diabetes had been a fatal disease. With the discovery of insulin, it became a chronic disease, but a lot of the responsibility for health lay on the patient. They have to participate, and it's not something that everybody wants to do. So this is really part of the story of the discovery of insulin. It was important to discover the secretion in the hormone itself, but it was also important to establish a way in which it could be useful, in which it could really be used to save lives. I think the archival holdings of Lilly and uh, uh, Jocelyn and Toronto are extraordinary. It was a great contribution and it was a great collaboration. We often think of these institutions as being in opposition to one another, but in fact it was the collaboration between the discoverers and the producers and distributors that made it possible for insulin to save lives. Thank you.